Hello, this is Liam from Lazarus Personal Training, the founder of the No Shoe Crew and this is your sweat on session. Today we are using dumbbells and we are going into a full body workout. Before we get into the workout, we're going to go into our warm up. What our warm up consists of is laying down and going into a side to side glute stretch. From there we go into a seated 90-90 position and we are again stretching out the glute and our external rotation of our hip. And then from there we're standing up, taking hold of the dumbbells and going into some external rotation of the shoulders. Basically we're trying to free yourself out and get yourself moving a little bit better. Because this is a full body workout we want to make sure that our hips and our shoulders are moving correctly and safely. From there we then go into our workout. Our workout consists of four movements. We have a push up from the dumbbells, from there we're coming up into a clean and press motion. We then go into a back wing row position and after that we go into a reverse lunge into a high knee. We perform six repetitions of each of those movements and then rest. We then do two rounds of those movements and rest and then finally we do three rounds of those movements back to back and that is as done. Sounds simple, it isn't. I'm not sure that I picked the right weight for this. I think I might be dying towards the back end of this. We'll see. In terms of the weight that you need, it's something that is pretty light but gives you a little bit of stimulus. For example, I've got five and not to blow my own trumpet, I'm a pretty strong dude, but I've got fives and even I'm thinking that might be a little bit heavy. So twos and three kilogram dumbbells will be okay for this workout. To begin with then, let's get down to the floor and let's get into this one. So first position that we're going into is we're going to lay back. From there we cross the leg over the knee and then we're going side to side with his hips. So we lay down, foot comes over the knee and then we bring the other foot up. We should be feeling the stretch from the glute and then from there we roll to his side and back to centre. We want to keep pressure in this leg coming up towards the shoulder to get a proper stretch from the glute. And a little bit of a roll is just to warm up the lumbar spine. Switch sides, foot comes over, gets in position, knee comes up, and then we rotate across. One side will feel tighter than the other side. That's absolutely fine. From there we sit up. We go back into that 90 90 position. We drop all over. From there, what we're going to go into is hand on the foot, hand by the knee, wave pan over the knee. And up and through. Again, this is working on the external rotation of the hip, freeing up the glute, which in turn frees up the lower back. A lot of people that struggle with lower back issues usually struggle with their hip mechanics. From there we come up to a seat, we take all those dumbbells, stood up tall and we are rolling back with the shoulders and down. The emphasis on pulling the shoulders back and down. And then from there back down to the floor again. We cross over, tension and we drive across. I like to drive my elbows down into the floor for this. Gives me a little bit of extra stability. From there we switch over, up and same again. And again it's worth checking in where it feels tight. What side feels like it's got more tension. Might find that these positions. 
positions quite uncomfortable. That's fine. If you do, please ask and let me know so that I can help. Switch again. Again, we're thinking of this like a wave pattern. So the chin comes up, leads down, and then we roll through the back. And then we come back up to his feet again. The reason why we're only going backwards with this one, and not forwards, is because we want to externally rotate the shoulder. We want to make sure that they're pulling out and back. You should be feeling like your traps, your upper back is starting to become a little bit more active through this. Day to day, how often do we sat in this position? Driving, texting, typing, we're always forward. It's nice to pull it out. We're going to go one more round down these. Back down to the floor, up and cross. We should feel like this pace is starting to pull a little bit. Your core should be braced through this, so your lower back shouldn't be jumping off the ground. If anything, your hips should be up. Switch over. Yeah, this side definitely feels tight for me. Up, back into that 90 90 position. As much as I would love to be perfect, it's just not going to happen. And you'll probably look at some stuff and go, hey, it doesn't look like it's moving exactly right there. I'm moving how my body allows me to move. As much as I want people to have. Which I want people to have great form, I also want you to be consistent. So I'm not bothered about perfect reps. As perfect as we can be, but you just really want to be great. From there, we are going to get into our workout again, just to go quickly over that. We are in a push-up position to begin with. We are going six reps in that push-up position. From there, we come up to feet, we go into a clean and press. The clean and press is a hip hinge to then come up and press overhead. When we're coming up, we go elbows up to come under and go up. From there, we go into a back wing row. So we go back into that hip hinge position, pull out and down. That's going to be the killer. And then from there, the final one is a lunge position where we come down, up, and we come up with the knee. We do six, take a little rest. We then do two rounds, take a little rest, three rounds, back to back. So, without further ado, let's get down. We're going to go into that push-up position first. So we take hold of the dumbbells. Feet are kicked back in a straight line. Let me move back a little bit. We come down to the floor and then we push back up again. With this, I'm not looking to rush. I'm looking to keep control. And my tempo wants to be strong and slow. From there, we come up. We go into the clean and press position. So from here, hips go back just below the knees. We come up to press all the head. At some point, just to forewarn you, I will definitely do even more or less than six. Let's count the amount of times that happens, especially if I'm queuing us through these positions. Six there, I think. From there we go into the back wing row. So with this, we hinge backwards, arms come down. We pull the elbows into the side, out and down. Keep the core tight. You want to be braced. Shoulders want to pull. Arms out to the side as straight as possible. 
And then from there we can up tall and go into reverse lunges. This is six on each side. So from here we step back and come up and through. Now I'm going to stay on one leg throughout this movement. Feel free to switch if you want. I just think it's easier to keep the foot planted than it is to keep finding tension in the floor. From there we switch over. Again, I'm going to apologise in advance for the amount of times I probably need to do five or seven reps. Three to go. And we rest from there, about 30 seconds, and then we'll go again. That round should give you an indication of how this is going to feel as we progress through. If there's anything that is painful or uncomfortable, stop and assess why that is happening. If not, and we're ready to go, we're going to go back down into that push-up position, six reps again. If you struggle with a push-up position, feel free to go from knees, but ideally we're coming up onto the toes, core's tight, shoulders are back and down, we come down to push up. Three to go. From there we come up into that back wing row. I'm going to do this straight up so you can see where my arms are coming. So again, I'm planted, my hips go back, arms come down towards the floor, my core is tight. Elbows pull back to my sides, out and down. Squeeze. Squeeze, three to go. From there we go into the clean and press position. Again, as we're stood, hips go back, we come up and press. Something that you might find is that your grip starts to become a bit of a determining factor in what you can do. That's fine. The grip is almost the body's limiter. And then from there, we go back into this reversal lunge position. It's one of the reasons why I don't often work with lifting straps. Because if our grip is going, two more of these, he says, open this is at five. If the grip is going, it's the body's indicator that it's time to rest. Again, with these reverse lunges, always looking for the knee over the toe. We've got one more of these to go. And then we go straight back into that push-up position. Again, we're hitting six out of these. Chest comes down towards the floor. Nice cue for this, just relax down. And then push up one more. From there, we go back into that clean and press position. Hips go back, we pull and push. Again, we want to keep the core tight and the hips moving backwards. Three to go. Always aiming for arms in line with the ears. From there, we go back into that back wing row again. Like I said, you should probably find that this one is the killer. Set, pull, and down. Six, back into that reverse lunge and knee lift. Lunge and lift. That drive forward should be a strong one. If you struggle with your stability, just go into a regular lunge. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, bring that knee up. I'm pretty sure that was six there, he says. 
lying to himself. Now, whether the way you've picked is too heavy or too light or just about right. This is just about right. Where I know these next three rounds that we're doing back to back, it is going to get pretty tasty. But I'm pretty sure I can do it. Check in with yourself now. Do you think that you're able to complete the next round of this? If you don't have dumbbells and you're doing this at home, Fill up some water bottles with either water or sand. You'll be able to do the same thing. Life hack for you. Let's get back into those push ups. This is three rounds back to back. Oh, good lord. As an insight into my filming, this is Wednesday morning when I'm doing this. And I am totally still half asleep. Coming up to feet, we're going to that clean and press position. I am probably going to pick the pace up on this now. If you lose time with this and we're not moving at the same rate, it's okay. You move however you need to move. One more. But ideally, keep your pace going with how I'm moving. Three to go. I really like that back wing row. Reverse lunge. I really like that back wing row as a back exercise that you can throw into circuits. I say really like it. It's also horrendous. Switch inside there. That was all set up. Six. Back down into those push ups again. This is round two or three. Set, cross tight. And we want to be coming down with the dumbbells just under his armpits. <clears throat> From there, clean and press position. For this, you want to make sure your feet are grounded into the floor. Halfway. Back into that back wing row again. Good boy. And down. Pull out and down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh. From there, reverse lunge position. We come down to come up and drive. Feet want to be as planted into the ground as possible. That's three. That's four. Five. And six. Eight. And again, set up. Shoulder pull down and back. And up. Again, that foot wants to stay gripped in. Make a note how does this feel from one side to the other side? Come on, Liam. One more. Final round, back down into those push ups. Final six reps from this. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, 
five, six, up we come, clean and press position. Final six of these, hips come back, we come up and press. If this is not recorded now, I will cry. Three to go. Last one. We're going back into those back wing rows again. Hooray! Forward, pull. Halfway there. And then last little bit, we're going into those reverse lunge with knee lifts. So we come down to drive up. Every time that we come up to the top, we want to squeeze that glute. Stand it up as tall as possible. One more on this leg. Then switch over. Foot plants. Up we come. Way, come on, left foot. Two. Three, keep your core tight. Four, two to go. There we go. Five. One last one. Six. Woo! That was your sweat on session for today. We've used some dumbbells, we've done it as a full body workout. We should be feeling pretty switched on right now. Again, if you do have dumbbells, water bottle with some sand or some water in it, I advise sand more than anything else. You could probably do this as well with a band, with a red resistance band. Um, we just have to vary up some of, the, some of the movements. That might be a video for another time. If you've enjoyed this workout, please give it a like, please drop a comment, and if you really like the videos, please subscribe. I'm on Instagram as Lazarus underscore PT if you want to see what I'm doing day to day in the gym. Have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next week.